Hello everyone, welcome back to TS Info YouTube channel. I'm Chandrika, an IT analyst at TS Info Technologies. If you are eager to learn about one of the power automate string functions that is starts with functions, watch out this complete video without skipping. In this video, I will show you two examples on starts with function. One is with instant cloud flow and other is by using a SharePoint list, connecting it to the automated cloud flow. So let's begin it with by logging into the power automate. If you have already logged in with the Microsoft credentials, if we browse make.powerautomate.com in the browser, then it will automatically redirect it to the Power Automate homepage or else it will ask you for the Microsoft credentials. Once you log in with the Microsoft credentials, it will directly navigate to the Microsoft Power Automate homepage. First, I will show you an example of Power Automate starts with function by building and manually trigger flow. For that, in the Power Automate homepage, Click on plus create which is present in the left navigation and after that select instant cloud flow. Here select the trigger that is manually trigger flow and click on create. If it is in the copilot version, click on the more commands and switch it to the classic designer. Now the trigger has been added to the flow studio. Power automate starts with function is a string function that is used to check whether the provided string starts with a particular string value or not. And it will give the output as a boolean values that is true or false. Let me explain you clearly by providing an example in the manually trigger. In the trigger, I was taking the text input as name, then add the initialize variable. In the initialize variable, provide the name for the variable and select the data type as string and select value from the dynamic content that we have taken. I was selecting it as name. After the initialize variable, I have taken compose data operation to add the to add starts with expression in it. In the inputs of compose action, click on expression to give starts with click on starts with function with open brackets and include the variable that we have taken. After the variable, provide the comma and with single quotation with the value. This is the syntax for the starts with function where we have to give the starts with with the string variable and the value that should have to be written from the starts with function. Select OK. Now I will save and test the flow manually. Click select manually and test it. In the run flow window, I was giving the name as Alex Wilbur run flow done. Now open the compose flow action to see the outputs written from the starts with function. Here it has been written as true as a boolean value because we have provided the string that starts with the name as Alex Wilbur with the value as Alex. Now one more time I will edit the flow and change the name to other name. So let's see if it returns the same as true or else it will return as false. So let's edit the flow. In the run flow window, I was providing the name as Lydia Holloway run flow. When we open and see the compose action, it will return the output as false. Now let me explain you the same example based on the SharePoint list but by creating a power automate automated cloud flow. In this SharePoint list, I was performing the starts with function based on the work location with the city column which is a single line of text. So now let's implement it in a power automate flow. Let's come back to the power automate and click on create and select automated cloud flow. I have given the flow name starts with example and selected the trigger as when an item is created and click on create. Select site address and list name in the trigger. Under the trigger add initialize variable. I was giving the initialize variable name as work location with city and select the data type as string and select value from the dynamic content select the column name I was selecting here for work location with city after that I was adding the compose data operation in the compose data operation I was giving the starts with expression starts with open bracket add from the dynamic content that is from the variables after the variable provide the comma with single quotations in the single quotations provide the value in the value I have provided the value as Houston and click on ok save and test the flow manually now come back to the SharePoint list. Now I will add an one more item in the SharePoint list. If the newly created items in the column work location with the city starts with the Houston, then starts with function will return the output as true or else it will return the output as false. 
So now let's create an item. I was taking work location with the city which starts with Houston and Texas. Exit the grid view. Now open the compose flow action to see the outputs written from the starts with expression. Now, now the output has been returned as true because the provided string or the newly created item in the SharePoint list will start with the value which we have provided in the starts with expression. This is how to work with the Power Automate starts with function. To check out the tutorial on Power Automate starts with function, click on the link provided in the description box. For video tutorials on SharePoint Online Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. See you in the next video.